Pandora, founded in 1982 in Denmark by Per Ann Winnie and Avoldsen, started as a small jewelry shop. They focused on selling imported jewelry from Thailand but found success when they started designing their own pieces. In 1999, the company introduced its popular charm bracelet, which quickly became a hit with customers. By 2011, the company had over 800 stores globally and was one of the biggest jewelry brands in the world. Chapter 1. Why Pandora Became a Successful Company Pandora's success can be attributed to several factors. Firstly, the company's focus on quality and design was essential. Pandora invested heavily in design and research to ensure their products were of the highest quality. The company's charm bracelet, which allowed customers to customize their jewelry, was a unique selling point that attracted a wide range of customers. However, the success of Pandora can be attributed not only to its unique products but also to its innovative marketing and promotional strategies. One of the key elements of Pandora's marketing strategy is the focus on the emotional connection that customers have with their jewelry. Pandora has positioned itself as a brand that helps customers express their individuality and create meaningful connections with others. This emotional connection is at the heart of the company's messaging, and it is evident in their tagline, Unforgettable Moments. Pandora's marketing strategy is also heavily focused on creating a personalized experience for customers. The company's website and social media channels feature user-generated content, where customers can share their unique stories and how they have personalized their jewelry. This approach helps create a sense of community around the brand and helps customers feel like they are part of something bigger. In addition to social media, Pandora has also invested heavily in influencer marketing. The company has partnered with high-profile influencers such as Millie Bobby Brown and Natalie Emanuel to promote their products. These partnerships have helped increase brand awareness among younger demographics and have helped position Pandora as a trendy and fashionable brand. Another key element of Pandora's marketing strategy is the use of promotions and discounts. The company regularly offers discounts and special promotions, particularly during the holiday season, to incentivize customers to make purchases. These promotions are often advertised through email campaigns and social media, helping to increase engagement with the brand. Pandora has also been successful in creating a sense of exclusivity around their products. The company has released limited edition collections, such as the Disney Collection, which creates a sense of urgency for customers to purchase before the products sell out. This strategy has been effective in creating hype around the brand and generating excitement among customers. Pandora has also placed a greater emphasis on sustainability and ethical sourcing of materials. The company has launched a responsible business program, which includes initiatives such as using recycled metals and ethically sourced gemstones. This focus on sustainability has helped attract customers who are looking for socially responsible companies. Overall, Pandora's marketing and promotional strategy has been instrumental in the company's success. By focusing on the emotional connection that customers have with their jewelry and creating a sense of community around the brand, Pandora has been able to create a loyal customer base. The company's use of promotions, influencer marketing, and limited edition collections has helped create a sense of exclusivity around the brand, which has contributed to its success. With the company's recent focus on sustainability, there is potential for Pandora to continue to grow and adapt to changing customer preferences in the future. Chapter 2. The Fall of Pandora Pandora's decline can be traced back to 2017 when the company faced several challenges. Firstly, there was a shift in consumer preferences, with customers looking for more unique and personalized jewelry. Pandora's charm bracelet, which had been their flagship product, was losing popularity, and the company struggled to adapt to changing customer preferences. Secondly, the company's expansion strategy had led to oversaturation in some markets. Pandora had rapidly expanded, opening stores in over 100 countries. However, this strategy had led to increased competition and decreased sales in some markets. Thirdly, Pandora's marketing strategy had become stale. The exclusivity that had once been a selling point was now viewed as outdated, and the company struggled to create a buzz around its products. Furthermore, the company's marketing had become too focused on the charm bracelet, and other products had been overlooked. The company's financial performance was also impacted. 
In 2018, the company reported a 7% decrease in revenue, and their stock price dropped by 60%. The company had lost its momentum and was struggling to regain its footing. In response to these challenges, Pandora tried to shift its strategy. They introduced new products, such as rings and necklaces, to diversify their offerings. The company also tried to rebrand itself, focusing on sustainability and ethical sourcing of materials. However, these efforts were not enough to turn the company's fortunes around. In 2020, the company announced that it would be laying off 1,800 employees, or 17% of its workforce, as part of a restructuring plan. The company also announced that it would be closing around 50 stores globally. Chapter 3. Lessons to Learn from the Rise and Fall of Pandora The rise and fall of Pandora provides several lessons for businesses. Firstly, it is essential to continue to innovate and evolve your products to meet changing customer preferences. While Pandora's charm bracelet was once a hit, it lost popularity as customers' tastes changed. It is crucial to continually assess your offerings and make changes to stay relevant. Secondly, companies should be cautious about overexpansion. Pandora's rapid expansion led to oversaturation in some markets, which ultimately hurt the company's performance. It is important to carefully consider the potential risks and benefits of expansion and have a well-thought-out strategy. Lastly, a company's marketing strategy must be adaptable and able to evolve with changing trends. What was once an effective marketing strategy may become outdated, and it is important to stay up to date with the latest trends and make changes accordingly. Chapter 4. What is the future of Pandora? While Pandora has faced significant challenges in recent years, there is still hope for the company's future. The company's restructuring plan, which includes a focus on e-commerce and streamlining operations, could help improve its financial performance. Furthermore, the company's recent emphasis on sustainability and ethical sourcing of materials could help. Thank you for watching. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe and share.